Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Border Gateway Protocol, otherwise known as BGP. We're going to take a look within BGP, we're going to be taking a look at prefix lists and why we would use them with BGP. We're also going to be explaining what prefix lists are. They are similar to access control lists in which they incorporate a matching logic and what's important with prefix lists is that we can go one step further and we can incorporate IP prefix or subnet mask information within one statement multiple subnet masks within one statement whereas access control lists you have to match the bit length exactly with the wildcard mask but within a prefix list what we're going to be able to see is that we can match several different subnets within one prefix list statement so we're going to show you guys how to set that up in this lab and how to verify the configuration and show you when you would use prefix lists. So what we have done so far and configured in this lab is we have the ISP connection configured. Pretty much everything you see right now out here in the GNS3 topology, we have all the interfaces set up on the routers and we have BGP set up AS1000 on the ISP router. So AS1000 is the BGP autonomous system for the ISP router. And then we also have our neighbor statements pointing to customer 1 and customer 2. Again we're running external BGP, eBGP in this lab. So now we're going to go into those routers, customer 1 and customer 2, and configure those routers. On customer 2, we have already set up the interface to the ISP. We have also already configured the loopback interfaces. So now what I need to do is set up BGP for customer 2, which is router BGP 200, which is the local autonomous system number on customer 2. Then we're going to peer with IS, the ISP router. We're going to this is going to be an external BGP link, so we'll do the neighbor command 130.0.0.6 and then the remote AS of IS, the ISP router, which is 1000. And as we can see, the BGP neighbor relationship has come up now. If I do a show IP BGP sum, we can see that we have a neighbor relationship now with the ISP router. So now I'm going to go into the customer one router. Under global config, we'll do the command router BGP 100, which is the local autonomous system number on customer one. We're going to form an external BGP neighbor relationship with ISP, the ISP router and AS 1000 which is so the command we're going to put in here is neighbor 